Hi all, <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks since i done my unboxing of my um, uh, keyboard. The Striker 7. Um, I've been sick, so sorry about that guys. Okay, let's get straight down to it for you people. It's only nearly 9 o'clock in the morning here, so... Having my first coffee. Um, overall, I do like the board. I do like my my um, uh, Razer. Uh, what is it? Is it an ultimate? Anyway, the mechanical keys. I do like that. You know, these ones are. Have a listen. That shits me. Hear that, guys. I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, I love the look of the board. I love the, the, the matte finish. If anyone's got any uh, comments for me or whatever, please like and push down a comment. Um, uh, try not to troll people because I just don't take any notice of it anyhow. <coughs> um, okay, what do I think about the board? I don't know how long these keys are going to last for, to be quite honest. That's why I like the mechanical keys. The, um, the mechanical keys are, I always thought, stronger, more durable um, than these. These remind me of my laptop that I used to have, my old laptop. Um, it doesn't show too much in here. Sorry about that, guys. But I'll give you a quick look. Um, that's what it looks like in there, nothing. Uh, can you see that? I'll zoomy, zoomy, zoomy in for you peoples, all you lovely peoples out there. So it's not, not like a mechanical key, I don't know. It must work down in there. Um, that doesn't fit. And yeah, I've got this, this thing here. Yeah, it's just a little rubber pad. Okay. Um, but the, I like these uh, mechanical key things. They just, you set them up. Uh, hang on two secs. Um, as I was saying, I like these. They, they just come in and out. I haven't tried anywhere else on the board. They, they, but I, I would imagine they do the same. I now can't get the damn thing back in, guys. You just got to set it up on the little notches. Once you get it like that, you see it's sort of sitting there. And just push it down. So I don't know how long, because as I said, there's a little rubber um, silicone piece now. I don't know how long that'll last for. But we'll see. Uh, hopefully it is quite durable. Um, it is a bit dirty, my board. The... Um, Cat likes to get into it too. The bloody thing gets up here and leaves its cat hair. Okay, now we'll zoom back out there. I just want to show you um, virtually how they, they come out. And there's a little package, and this is for moving that to there. So you've got a little bit more um, stuff. I do like this. Make it always. Well, this is not Mad Cat. Yes, it is. It is Mad Cat. Sorry. Mad Cat's always got the little extras, which is good. Always makes you feel special. Anyway, let's get off that shit. Now, what don't I like about the board? Do I think it's worth the, the money? Um, no. Think it, I don't think it is. The, the quality of the keyboard itself is... Uh, really crazy man like look at this all this metal underneath here it's unbelievable that's just beautiful that's a work of art um, and it is it's a beautiful keyboard people come to my place and they look at it and go oh yeah you spend your money but they honestly they just want one <laughs> and you know they do they just carry on there they like to put down your stuff which is cool go for it who gives a shit um, this is my little present for myself for, for 12 months, you know, I don't buy myself anything, so this is what I bought. 
Um, no, I don't think it is worth uh, the money I pay. Uh, this is the biggest part of it, as they say, this is what costs the money, the launcher. The launch is great, but we'll get onto that in a second. Let's stay with the keyboard, John. Let's just go with a board. I love the armless. They're really nice to type with, but I'm gonna put the numpad over here. I'm gonna try that configuration, because uh, I think it'd be better the keyboard from here. And the gaming over here, I don't know, I've got to change all this shit over. I can't seem to be able to get this to work, guys. If anyone knows anything out there, please let me know and um, just, how does it work? Like, on this um, uh, Razer gaming um, mouse, as you would notice by my other videos, I don't have my Rat 9 anymore. I went and bought this one because it's more stable. Uh, it's a better gaming mouse. Feels cheap as chips, but it wasn't. Um, but in here, it's got a, a um, sniping mode in there. I don't know if you can see the DPI changing on my on my screen over there. Let's see, it's over here. Whoops, bang. See it there? Uh, for sniping mode. And that was supposed to do that too, but I can't get that to work. I can't get the zoom in. I can't get it to do anything. I don't know why. And this one's annoying because the, the rat... The Rat 9's got a little red button, and that's really handy to hit. With this, this whole thing goes in, and you're sort of squeezing the mouse. It just doesn't, it feels so uncomfortable. But I can't get that to work. Um, that's one of my things. This is my biggest hate. Listen to this, guys. I don't even push it down. That is that noisy. Like, if you're typing, Every other key, it's not bad. That just really gets on my goat. You know, you pay that sort of money and it's just the quality. Where's the bloody, where's the quality? Uh, the other feature that I don't like on here is this, the macro keys here. Uh, when you're gaming, look how far you gotta try and reach, guys. Look how far my little fingers pushed right out. Now, I don't have small hands, but they should have just um, made these either come over this, lipped over it, to make it easier for you to hit. That's why I'm going to change the nub pad over to here to see if that, that helps it. I don't think it's going to make much difference, but because the, the excuse me, the number pads are closer to the edge, uh, of course it's going to make it easier to hit. Um... This looks like an added extra because it's shiny. Um, I haven't cleaned it at all. You know, it's a freaking keyboard. It's going to get dirty. I did have something here to clean with. But this part here is shiny. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just try and zoom in a little bit. Compared to the rest of the board, this is all matte. Everywhere else is matte. This is shiny. It actually looks like an added extra they've just, or last minute, oh shit, we need macros down the side. We better chuck this on here. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and it really does. It just looks like they've just chucked something on there um, at the last minute. As you can see by the rest of the board, it's all uh, a map. And this is shiny. I don't know if, he, if the camera picks that up. If the camera... Um, that's my two big guides for the board, <clears throat> these and this. Um, the little thing is, I, I wonder how long the keys are going to last for. Oh, and this, sorry, three things. There's actually four, but anyway, three things. Okay, let's get down to the business end. I'm going to move you now so you can see the launcher. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we can go from there. So I'll just pause you for a sec. Okay, we're back. Now, this is what everyone's saying that you're paying the money for. The launcher. The problems I have with this is for number one is the quality. They put these plastic stupid bloody keys on here. These, and they just look flimsy. They don't look good. 
Um, you know, when you've got all this metal underneath the board itself, you know, you've got the metal everywhere else. Underneath the board, as you can see it here, all underneath the board, why didn't they make all these keys metal? You know, it's just something so bloody stupid, why not? You're paying top dollar for a keyboard, why didn't they just do this? It's something stupid. Okay, let's get off that. Let's go back into here. Oh, the camera moved in, sorry about that guys. Uh, can you see it there? Yes, I think you can. I'll just tighten that up so it doesn't move. Now, the launch. It's only, I do have problems with this, but it's software issue as far as I know. It's just something that Mad Cat's gotta fin fix up um, and, and finish the, the, the software on it. Um, I have TeamSpeak, but doesn't work. Um, music, doesn't work. Um, I'll come back to them anyway. Your launcher here runs all your programs and files and whatever. I've got a couple of games in there already, but yeah. Um, but you've got to... Oh, you know, that, that's all fine, that, that's beautiful, but I think I wish there that you could scroll across and have more uh, launcher keys, because you, you honestly do, you only got 12, and 12 is not enough, um, at all. Uh, music, doesn't work, I'll go and come back to that. Uh, these are all your sounds for your, for, yeah, what well, you got running in here, um, but nothing's really running at the moment. Uh, lighting, my daughter loves this, as you see, my little princess. This is the one she wants. <laughs> she wants a nice pretty pink one. She's going to be, Daddy, when you finish that keyboard, can I have it, please? And I'm going, well, it's be a while, darling, before I buy a new one. Anyway, she likes that colour. That's her favourite out of a lot of them. Um, so, and I'll go back to my favourite green, because it goes with my... Razor mouse. Uh, the time, yeah, it's, that's not a bad feature, I suppose. As you can see, it's nearly nine o'clock. Uh, you can change it to digital. It doesn't have AM or PM, but you know what time it is. You just look, oh, yeah, it's daylight. <laughs> as we all know, as gamers, you sort of lose track of time. Um, <clears throat> I've never used the stopwatch, but I suppose it's a good idea to see how long you're playing for. I, I don't understand it. I think it's a waste of um, um, a feature on on the on the gaming keyboard itself. It, I don't think it's something that you need. A stopwatch. What for? Um, uh, the control countdown. I don't understand this or what it's for. Really, I, I I don't understand what it's for. So I'm sorry. I can't give you no comment on that. Maybe you might know. You can tell me. I don't understand it. Um, yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, your Windows key lock. Well, I don't have any problem with that. Um, not even when I had the Razer uh, keyboard. Um, I don't think I've ever hit it. I, I may have been close. I may have done. I just haven't taken any notice. But, you know, for some gamers, they'd actually use these keys down here for different functions. Of course, it's a great idea. Uh, settings. Uh, it just helps to turn the keyboard off when not in use. It sort of shuts down a little bit, goes to sleep. I wish I could change this. I'm in Australia. That's an English flag. I'll just try and zoom in so you can see. I've got an Eng English flag. I can't change the, um, the zone. Like, that's English. Uh, why can't I change it to Australian? Um, yeah, you know, different things like that. Yeah, you know, it's that's just minor stuff. But yeah, I just wish I could change it. This here just um, helps you to uh, set up your screen. Um, so then it does all this. Man, I just blew it up. Oh no, I just blew it up. What did I do? Oh no, I just reset it. Sorry, guys. We'll just give that two secs. I'll put you on pause. Okay, it's, we're back. What it's doing, it's just reconfiguring the screen. So you touch there. Anyone's got a um, DS, 
would know any of this. It just um, just reconfigurates the screen, resets it sort of thing. Uh, what I have done, because of the, the price of this thing, I have put a film over the top of the screen. I don't know if you guys, whoops, sorry, I get about that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've got a, a little bit of a film there. Um, it's off my old iPhone. One of these I've just cut down. So if you do buy one of these, it's just something so easy just to do, just to cut this part off, cut that part off. And it, you don't even have to cut it down. It's sort of sitting over here. I could have got it on a little bit closer, but you don't touch down here. And it just protects the screen, guys. So there's a little helpful hint to anybody who might have one and, and might want to do this as well. Hopefully that helps a little bit too, just to protect that touchpad. Um, where was I when I just stuffed this thing up? Okay, I was here. As I said, that's just a resetting. This is a brightness for it. I keep it down about 50 roughly. This here, um, as I said, makes it go to sleep if you're not using it, which is a good idea, save on power. I have found though, when your computer's not on, um, I don't know if other people got the same problem with the same board, but or I don't know if it's a problem, but um, when the computer's all off, the PC's off, you come up and you touch this, this button here and your screen will light up. I don't understand, mate. I don't know what, what that's supposed to do. You know, why would it light up? I don't know. Anyway, so maybe someone can tell me. Um, macros. Um, there is one of them set, but I don't know where it's gone. It's hiding somewhere. But there's one set in there. I haven't used many of them, but you know, it's got um, 12 macros. You know, you've got the macros down the side of the board. You've got macros. Uh, I'll just zoom you back out. Look, wrong way. I always go to bloody wrong way. I'll just loosen that off. Like, you, got, you do have a shitload of macro keys, or, or you know, you got them down the side here, you got them around here. Um, yeah, you just, they're, they're everywhere. They're mac, it's gone macro mad. You know, it's okay if, you, if you've got all these games, I suppose. But, you know, anyway. Uh, this is good if you're in a game, you can just put whatever in there. See, I was just stuffing around showing someone the other day. Uh, you can empty the bean somehow. I can't remember how right now. Uh, no. What do I do? Ah, uh, there we go. Come up here. Empty. And then it's gone. Then if you want to add something, you just push add and then you just type away. John I don't care, I'm not gonna put nothing there. And then you just save it and that's it, it's done. It's in there, and you can just go and put something else in there, whatever you like. It's good little hints for games, like if you know it's just something you want to know about a game and you're in the game you're playing and you just want, oh that's right, that such such does this. You know, team speak. I like it because you don't have to worry about it being on your uh, monitor there uh, trying to see who's talking. I do use it, but I'm going to show you stuff about it right in about two or three minutes, seconds, I should say. Team speak can be really good. Now, as I said, with the, the problem that I have, as I said, I hate these bloody keys. Why didn't they just put them in as metal? And this one here. Why? I also, why couldn't I change the color of this? When I like my board's red at the moment, that's red. When I change it to green, that should change. It's just something that annoys the living crap out of me. But, you know, there's other people gonna be looking at that, trying to change it, modify it, so. What it needs is a software update uh, on, the, on this, uh, especially on the launcher. So when you hit your launcher, you should be able to either scroll across or scroll whichever way. Oh, there you go, I'll just fired something up then. Um, to uh, um, play it or watch it or do whatever you're doing because you can put a link in there you can do your YouTube you can push your YouTube you can put it on that macro but as I said you only got 12 of them now this is the thing that, where I've got the problem now if I want to listen to music you can see my media player down here 
Now I will zoom back out so you can see. If I'm going to get it the right way this time. So you can see, there's my monitor. Um, it's just shot up my media player. I'll redo that so you can sort of see it. You can't really see much from there, but I'll lift it up. So you can sort of see that little monitor. Um, okay, now I push it down here. I have to launch the program. Then I've got to physically drag shit over to here, play it. When is it going to play? What have I done? I push pause, sorry guys. Turn off my speakers. Um, See, I've, I've got to go here to do it all, which is just annoying. Um, so I have to, I have to physically put music in there and everything first before I can hit um, anything here. Now, if I come back, I'll bring you back down here, guys. Now I've got the music going. I'll zoom in again. Now, if I hit my music. It's working. I should not have to use a, a macro or a launcher to run my music. It's just stupid. It's a waste of um, a launcher. Um, I can go forwards. See, it works. It's a perfect idea. It's just, it's a software issue as far as I'm concerned. But it's just something they've got to fix. Um, all right, let's turn that off. I'll turn that off. All these buttons work, which is quite good. Okay, let's get out of that. Now I'll get out of that. As I was saying, I've got to go back to launches. Now I'll go to team speak. There we go. Team speak's up and running. You can't see it up in there. That's good. So you can't see the addresses. Okay, now I'm physically loading this with the... With the um, um, mouse and everything else as you can see there's nothing there on TeamSpeak at all but by rights I should better hit that and that should open up my TeamSpeak it should recognise it it should know it's on my computer on my PC it should run it straight away but it does not I have to physically do all this myself now I'm in TeamSpeak, but I had to use a launcher to run it. I had to launch it from here, or physically go down to on my on my uh, monitor or uh, my PC, launch it, get it all up and running, and away I go. When originally I thought, oh, I should be able to hit TeamSpeak and it recognises me and lets me in. Um, I'm in the lounge just to show you where I am. Videos. Lounge. I'm in the lounge. It must be somewhere else in the lounge. So it will show me that I'm in here. The screen's a bit funny. So I got this. Sort of helps a little bit better. I'll just come down to my bloody platoon room. Okay, we come down to World of Tanks. Oh, shut up. Come on, scroll up. Oops, back down, back down, back down. Oh, what's going on there? It used to show me there, I don't know what's going on. I don't know, it's just software little problems. I don't know what the hell is going on here. So now it's going to make a lie of me. I don't know. But anyway, you, you tap on that room, it shows up the players here and stuff like that. I'm sorry about the little stops and starts and whatever, but yeah, it does. But yeah, as I said, I'm using a launcher for that. See, now I've turned it off. It's gone. Um, so I have to use a launcher from here. As I said, I've only got 12 of them. 
You, know, you need something to slide across so you can see more. That's just uh, another gripe I have with it. Okay, well, zoomy, zoomy back out. Um, do I think the board's worth the money I paid for it? No, not really. I think it's overpriced for what it is in that sense. But yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful board, except for this. This looks like it's been tacked on. The launcher applications, you know, like as I said, I can, I can play it now because I've got it running. On my, no, I've turned it off. See what I mean? Does nothing. I have to launch these programs, which is just something I just find very annoying. Anyway, leave your comments a like, please, if you if you don't mind. Um, let me know them few little things. Uh, you know, um, how do I get this to go? Um, if uh, Mad Cat's watching it, leave me a, a, an answer. Are you going to up, update this? Are you going to do software to fix all these little problems that it has? Because um, I'm sure this is not good for your sales. Hi right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please hit like and um, say good day. Bye.